G'day everyone, Mike here with Store DJ again. I've been having a blast getting to know the Udo Super 6 over the last few weeks and uh, I wanted to come in and do a video on my three favourite things that I think maybe aren't being talked about enough on this synth. So I've also got my Machine Plus with me to do some sequencing and I've programmed in some beats as well to kind of tie everything together. But let's get straight into it. First thing I want to talk about is this slider here over the LFO phase. Alright, so stereo modulation isn't anything new on a modern synth, but I really love how simple and easy Udo have made it on this Super 6. So check this out, I've got a little beat and a chord sequence lined up. You get the idea, big lush sounds from the Super 6 as it's really known for. Uh, through the analog filter and the chorus it just sounds enormous, but we can take it further. Let's add some filter modulation. So we'll turn the LFO slider up on the filter bank. And we've got it synced to MIDI because we have the sync button lit here. So you can hear it moving around nicely now, but we push this phase slider up to halfway and it pushes the LFO completely out of phase on the left and right channels. So when the left channel is opening the filter, the right channel is closing the filter and you get this awesome swirling around your head effect. Check it out. Getting a little silly there, but you get the idea. I love how easy they've made getting that stereo movement with the phase slider there. But enough about that, I wanna talk about uh, FM and audio rate modulation now, so let's get into it. So checking out the panel of this synth, we could be forgiven for thinking that it's relatively straightforward. You know, there's two oscillators, two envelopes, a filter, a VCA, two LFOs. It sort of follows the same recipe we've had since the 80s. But if we dig a little deeper into the panel settings, there's actually some cool tricks you can do to really open up the tonal possibilities. So, we've got this little sine wave patch set up, really basic, both of these are set to sine waves. Nice and spooky. Now what we can do is repurpose this LFO as a third oscillator. So you turn it around to your high frequency tracking mode, which just means an oscillator. Have a listen. We've got pitch control and we change the rate. Now that might not be that exciting to have an extra sine wave oscillator, but we can now frequency modulate the other two with that extra oscillator. So if we turn up this slider here. And suddenly we're in FM synthesis territory, but it doesn't end there. We can turn this envelope onto loop mode, turn key tracking on, and now this becomes another oscillator as well. But this doesn't get sent to the mixer, so we have to route it somewhere. Fortunately, we can modulate the other two oscillators with the envelope too, so let's have a go at that. Find them. Go even further and cross modulate them.
also plenty of wild FM tones in this synth for sure. It's heaps of fun finding those sweet spots as well because it's such a tactile, hands-on unit. But uh, let's move on to number three, and we're going to talk about what this little symbol down here means and what it can do for us. So the Super 6 actually has a whole heap of extra waveforms loaded in that you can assign to Oscillator 1. You just turn this knob around to this weird looking shape here, automatically puts you in waveform select mode, and you can select from any of these and they all sound quite different. Let's have a listen. So that really opens up the tonal variety to be found in this synth. But that's not actually what I want to talk about for this segment. What I do want to talk about is something they've actually added in a firmware update that allows you to take these wave shapes and put them on the LFO, meaning you've got this really cool complex wave shape as your modulation source. So I know that uh, number one sounds pretty good in this scenario, so let's go to number one, hold down shift, you turn this knob once, and now that waveform is copied over to the LFO. Um, undo shift, go back to the waveform I was on, turn the modulation up, Now you can hear that that is not a simple sine wave or a square wave or something modulating that filter. I made this pretty cool wobble bass patch last night, I'll show you guys. So those complex wave shapes are especially suited for doing wobble basses and things like that. Certainly not limited to though, there's lots of room for experimentation there. So that's a wrap on today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I've had a blast getting to know the Super 6, it's a beautiful synthesizer, wonderfully designed. It really feels like the designer George Hearn has just set about to create his dream synth and I reckon he's pulled it off, it's something special. So these are available at Store DJ and Manning's now. If you enjoyed the video, please chuck us a like, subscribe, all of that jazz, and uh, we'll see you next time.